That's super cute. I'm gonna buy these for my sisters. I have two. It's 7.25 and it's Thursday morning and I've been up since four. Um, my first run in a week since I was, I was really, really bad sick. Um, <clears throat> my lungs still feel really tight. I don't know if you can hear it when I breathe, but they're tighter than usual, so. Um, anyways, um, I'm fixing to jump in the shower, brush my teeth, get ready. Uh, my sister-in-law, Trin, wanted me to go to town with her today and Titus is working, but he's on night shift, so he don't leave for work till 6.30. So I'll be home way before then, and I plan on doing an easy dinner. And um, so yeah, it feels good to get back to running and sweating. And Okay, we just went through Starbucks, and I got the caramel, hold on, it's bumpy. The caramel frappuccino, which is I always get, and then Trin got, what'd you get? Nice caramel latte. I never Not can say it. Up. That's what she always gets. And then I got egg white bites and she got um, the, yeah. the reduced fat turkey, yeah. turkey and bacon. bacon sandwich. So, sorry it's so jerky. Sorry. We were like driving and trying to turn. And so where are we headed to next? Or where are we headed to now? We haven't went anywhere but gas station and Starbucks. Yeah, I don't know. Are we headed Somewhere? to Modesto? Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're going to the mall. I have not been there in. Oh, I know. A, two Ten years. years. Like, years. yeah, literally, we. I don't go to the mall anymore. I shop solely online. But, all right, I will keep you documented on what we do today. She's asking if these are too boyish for Abigail, but they're just kind of edgy. I think they're cute. These are cute. They're just like an edgy looking shoe. Like, you know. You know, and I don't know if she really has that style. Oh, well, if you don't want her to have that style, then. But they're cute. Okay, I just bought these camel colored salt waters. And once you break these things in, they're so comfortable. Oh, there. I have these. Oh, yeah, those are cute. Which one? These. Uh, these? The match shoe, yeah. <laughs> All right, now I gotta pay for my shoes. Well, I bought a scrunchie because my hair was driving me nuts. So, um, I'm outside waiting for Trent. She's buying something, I don't know, inside the store. So, waiting on her and I'm getting super hungry and I think I'm gonna make a really easy quick chicken pot pie tonight and you use canned biscuits on top and it's super duper good super duper easy so I think that's what I'm gonna run to Target on our way home grab my stuff and then just throw that together for dinner tonight what'd you get Trent? Um, some shoes, just the kids' room clothes. Show the, wait, go this back is, to those shoes because those were eight dollars, weren't they? Yeah. And Trin bought them in the kids' section. And they're they kids, better. but they'll fit. Aren't they so cute? They really are. They, they look, like look just expensive. like the one she has on. Typically blush. Yes. <laughs> but those were probably not eight dollars. Yeah, no. And then she got Abigail. the kids' room clothes. Yeah, this is really cute. I thought. Oh, it's adorable. Every fall, I buy my sisters a cute little coffee cup. And isn't this one adorable? It's big and chunky. 
and it says happiness is a pile of leaves. So that's super cute. I'm gonna buy these for my sisters. I have two. And then I just buy these and keep these on hand, um, like on the go. And they're little fall little dogs. So cute. I'm gonna grab this, these three items right here. Okay, this is a hamburger animal style and then just plain fries. You can get the fries animal style as well, but I don't. I prefer it plain. And then Trin got basically the same thing. Except she didn't get animal style. So now we're going to eat. There's my cute shoes. <laughs> we're looking at clothes. I'm getting this one. Oh, wait, are you? Oh, are you getting this one? Nope, but that one's cute. I'm getting this sweatshirt right here. It's super cute and kind of just very plain. And it splits up at the side. Okay, I already opened up the soaps, but um, I keep soaps in here and like toothpaste, dental floss, Q-tips, and then the girls eat cough drops like they're going out of style. I'm not joking. So, and this is all getting painted, Lord willing, in the spring. I just cleaned this with a bleach rag. But since it's a flat paint, it won't come clean. So that's why if you notice in my house during the video, I'm like, man, her jams and stuff look dirty. No, they're not dirty. I just can't clean them. So it just takes time to remodel. But anyways, okay, we have like three Caress bars left. And I really like Caress. Um, my old neighbor, Vicky, used to buy Caress. And so it reminds me of her house. So I really like it. But um, I bought Olay this time. It smells really good. So I'm going to put these in here. Okay, so now we have a nice stocked, pretty decent basket size for our body soaps. Oops, forgot one. Okay, this makes for the perfect little pop chop holder. I have several different kinds in here, but the girls really like them, so I try to keep this basket full of cough drops. This go around, I bought Hall's Relief, the cherry cough drops, so I'll add that to it. And then my throat's still kind of feeling funny. See what I mean about our baseboard, you guys? But I bought the Hall's Defense because my throat's just feeling funny again. I'm, I don't know. So let's add those to this little basket so we can put it away. And I keep our toilet paper um, stocked in this little basket right here. Um, that's two antibiotics that I never finished taking. And I just kind of keep, you know, band-aids and things like that in this basket. And then hand towels here. Paper towels there. I haven't got a basket for cleaning rags yet, but I will. Then the iron, and then those are emergency candles. And then towels, but I gotta go fold some more towels, but normally that's full, so yeah. That's how I keep my closets usually stay organized and for most parts. Um, that's the only thing that might get a little bit unorganized because Violet is constantly putting on band-aids. She just put a band-aid on today, so that's why it's kind of messed up. But anyways, yep, this is our medicine cabinet as we call it.
Okay, I just got back from Target and the Modesto with my sister-in-law. Um, I'm doing a quick dinner. Titus and the girls are still golfing. I think that's where they're at. That's where he said he was going. And I'm just gonna do a really quick chicken pot pie. I don't have time to, you know, roll the crust out and make it and do all that fun stuff. So I'm just gonna use canned biscuits. Super easy, super quick. I'm just doing a rotisserie chicken for my chicken part. I wash my hands and I'm just getting a uh, cream of chicken. And I've cut like, I don't know, five potatoes and I'm just gonna soft boil them really like for like five or ten minutes just to kind of soften them because I don't feel like potatoes ever cook thoroughly in a chicken pot pie. So, and I'm just using mixed vegetables. And I'll drain these and just add it really quick. I changed my shirt because I was hot and now I'm like super, uh, I was cold and now I'm super hot. So, it's gonna drain these really good. And this is just carrots, peas, um, green beans, and corn. So all your vegetables in a can. Have one can of cream of, cream of chicken, one can of um, mixed vegetables. I have onions and potatoes like soft boiling over here. Uh, that way my onions kind of reduce down too. There goes my oven, it's ready. This is like the easiest meal possible. Um, I am just gonna shred up some rotisserie chicken in here. It's kind of like little bite sizes. Um, I think you guys know I don't put a lot of chicken in like my soups or even my chicken pot pie when I cook. Not a real huge meat person and my family's used to that. So, you know, you can obviously make this to your family's palate. And I add usually half and half or whole milk or whatever we have. So I have whole milk. So I'm just going to add like literally a half a cup. Girls love chicken pot pie. Titus is a real big chicken pot pie person. So I'm anxious to see if he likes this. I haven't made it this way in. I haven't made it this way since I was pregnant with Vivian and that was 12 years ago. And I think I ate the entire casserole dish by myself one evening. I'm not kidding you either. No joke. Um, I feel like the biscuits are just too thick to cook like flat. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> cut them into fours and just kind of layer them on top like, you know, like a small thin layer, but I'm gonna cut these into fours. I just cut them up into fours. And I'm just gonna layer them on top of the pan. Can I have one? I like dough. No. Okay, I took the canned biscuits out, but they the the tops were cooked, but the bottom was not. Like they were too doughy for me, so I just went ahead and flipped them, all the little tiny biscuits, which took like one minute, put them back in the oven so both sides are really crispy and brown. So I'd be afraid you guys would try it and be like, these biscuits are doughy on the bottom. So mine were too, but I just flipped them and I think it's fine. So it's gonna turn out just really, really good. 